right, for staying with us once again and joining us on this channel, Sports 7 gh It's always a great, great pleasure to have you join us. Thank you very much for staying with us. Yes, the Black Stars of Ghana. Yesterday, they won over Mali 2-1. Yes, uh, we brought you the highlights, the analysis of the game. And we brought you a lot of issues, all right? The Black Stars are currently in Ghana here. They are in Kumasi, and they will start their preparations for the game versus Central African Republic. That will be coming on on the 10th of June, 2024. This coming Monday, uh, 10th of June is all like a uh, what? Monday, where the uh, Ghana Black Stars will be playing. What is the latest news from the camp of the senior national team? The Ghana Black Stars and all of those issues we are bringing to you. We will also look at the Black Stars players' ratings for the game versus Mali. Yes, for the game. Mali game there maybe after today then or maybe maybe after this video then we will forget about it and start focusing on the Central African Republic game because today we will be at the Babayara Sports Stadium we will bring you all the exclusive videos um about the senior national team the Ghana Black Stars training today it is open to the media and the public and we are going to bring you fantastic videos and updates from the Black Stars camp so after today then we will start concentrating on the Central african republic game and um, we will look at other stories all right in this video ex black stars coach is <laughs> doing wonders in that group involving senegal and the rest is stopping the world cup group that has senegal and other teams you will look at all of that those issues in this video do all to subscribe to the channel like this video hit the notification bell and select or leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have any it's always a great great pleasure to have you join us thank you very much for staying with us now a new Ghanaian has signed for um <laughs> afc dot um bonmouth hey, what am what am i saying afc bonmouth in the english premier league yes he's a Ghanaian. he was playing for the bonmouth youth side um according to the records he scored about 25 goals for the youth side of bonmouth and then he has been promoted to the senior team of Bournemouth and he will be playing for them next season so that is the news he's an English born Ghanaian and we decided to bring you that particular news on this particular channel sports 7 GH um over there so new player new Ghanaian player English born Ghanaian maybe he will follow the the steps of Antoine Semenyon and play for the senior national team the Ghana Black Stars over there all right yes let's hope for the best now Ghana Black Stars arrived in Ghana in fact in Kumasi um around 1 30 a.m today <laughs> what the dear oh. yes today will train today yes you are collecting a lot of money you have to train they arrived 1 30 a.m today they will be training at 4 30 p.m today at the babayara sports stadium the whole ghana blasters team it's just a recovery training session recovery they are going to recover so that they will not have muscle injuries and the rest okay so they will just be pressing passing passing the ball it's not a serious training it's just a recovery after playing a game you have to do recovery training session the next day so they will be training i've already told you sports 7 gh will be there and will bring you exclusive videos from the uh, babayara stadium um today so you have to stick and stay that's why i always tell you to subscribe to the channel like the video hit the notification bell and select all um hit the notification bell i don't know but i don't manage so, so that anytime i drop a video you will be the first person to have the video all right yes yeah, so subscribe to the channel as we will be bringing you a lot of update central african republic to i am hearing that they're already in, in town yes yeah, central african republic the team we are going to play against them on monday i'm hearing that you're already in time but after today the training tomorrow will not be open to the public the training on sunday crano it will not be open to the public on that like that but there will be press conference on sunday and that one too will bring it to you press conference as i have to subscribe to the channel is that not it good um Ga two Ghanaians who are playing for netherlands okay that's memphis Depay and then um jerome hey is it jerome no and um from pong from pong from pong okay yes um they were they are two Ghanaians. this uh, from pong assisted memphis depay to score yesterday in netherlands and then they were doing the adwa dance and memphis depay is saying that look ghana is in his blood so that's what why he was doing that particular dance now 
Coach Kwesia Pia is a fantastic um, ex-coach of the senior national team, the Ghana Black Stars. He has coached the Black Stars to the World Cup before 2024, 2014 World Cup. He coached the Black Stars to that World Cup in Brazil. And then also he um, got a draw versus Germany. The best game in the 2014 World Cup, according to FIFA. They said that that was the best game, according to pure tactics and everything. And it was engineered by Ghana's very own Kwesi Apia. He is now the senior um, coach for Sudan, and he's stopping the group that involves the likes of Senegal. DR Congo came to the AFCON. <laughs> hey, Charlie. DR Congo, Sudan, South Sudan, and Mauritania, and Togo, and the rest. Sudan, which is Kwesi Apia's team, they are on top of the league where, um, lock with seven points and then senegal is having five points so yes it's a very very difficult one and um, you know for about one year sudan they have not organized any league in their in their in their country because of war and all of those issues yes and a lot of those teams in their countries you know and uh, mix up the national team because they don't have a lot of um, foreign players like that so of course Apia is doing very very well yes i don't think that he will qualify to that to the world cup that's the truth he cannot but he's trying his best at least you're having seven points right now it's it's it's, it's fairly good but if he does it too that would be the biggest achievement in football history not even pep Guardiola winning treble or whatever will come close to this because if you have Senegal and DR Congo and Sudan is able to qualify to the World Cup 2026. Ah, that would be the biggest achievement in football history. And we are all waiting and seeing that how that is going to go over there. Now, let's look at the Black Stars players' ratings um, for the game versus Mali. Black Stars players' rating. Massa, um, the goalkeeper of the side, no? <laughs> Atizigi, I'm giving Atizigi 7.5. Atiziki was so good. If Atiziki kept us in the game, if we had conceded even one or two of those chances Mali got in the first uh, minutes of the first half now, oh my God, we are going to struggle in the game. Atiziki made some two clear saves in the first minutes of the first half. And that's why I'm giving him that 7.5. Throughout the game, you were solid. Throughout the game, yes, he considered one goal, but it wasn't his fault. He couldn't have done anything about it. Mohamed Salisu was very solid for me. Fairly good, fairly good, fairly good, if you ask me. He will get a 7 um, rating, 7, 7. Alexander Jiku will get 7.5. He also had a very, very good game at the back. He was the uh, main center back, okay, in the three back. He was in the middle, and he was orchestrating the back line, doing very, very well over there. Ali Diseidu, yes, Ali Diseidu was also good. You know that the Malians were attacking the wings a lot, okay, and Ali Diseidu wasn't attacking. He was just defending, and he did that very, very, very well. He stopped the Malians um, wing play really, really well over there. Gideon Mensah, 5.5. I agree with Gideon Mensah's own, 5.5. Tarek Lamte 7.5 solid solid player defending very well attacking it very well my word Tarek Lamte what a player he was yesterday fantastic player I am a summit solid summit I'll give him seven I'll give him seven because he assisted that and there's Nyama goal. A lot of people don't know that Salih Samed assisted that goal. He wasn't so good in terms of defending in the middle. He wasn't so good in terms of retrieving the ball and all of that. But I think that Okay, 7 or 6.5 is okay. 7 or 6.5 is okay. So, yes, that is Salih Summit. And um, Thomas Pate, 7 is good because that chance cry you missed, cry. We have to did that too. Uh, from it. You've gotten this chance. You are you are leading the ball. As I don't know no about what Jay. That was a beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, yes. <laughs> a beautiful um, assist by Jordan Ayu to Thomas Pate. And Thomas Pate should just have scored, but he couldn't score. NS Nyama 6.5. It's okay. You scored, but we didn't really see you in the game. Apart from the header, NS Nyama, we didn't really see you. And Antoine Semenyon, 6 over 10. That is also okay. Mohamed Kudu, 6 over 10. That is also okay. We didn't see you. The front trade here, yeah, we didn't see them cry during the game. And Mohamed Kudu, uh, really, really disappointing. Jordan, are you having, having 7? Abdul Moment. Having 6.5 for me is not 6 because Abdul Momin he stopped the Mali's um, number 7 
Maza, Mali number seven was a substitute, and he was going to torment Ali Disaydu so well. The coach of the Blasters immediately changed him for um, Abdul Momin, and Abdul Momin came every one on one. It was Abdul Momin's win. Every one on one, Abdul Momin, Momin will win it. So I'm giving him 6.5 or even 7 because he did very, very well. Fatal Shaku and Ibrahim Suleimana. All of them getting 6.5 for me because they came to stabilize the game and help Ghana Blasters to win. What are your thoughts, comments, views? Which ones do you agree with me? Which ones do you not agree with me? Let me know all of that in the comment section. Thank you very much for staying with us. I'll definitely see you in the next one. Bye-bye.